Saints, I'm coming to you to talk about three things. Behold, I say to you, get out of your fallacy. Get out of your dreams. Get out of your visions. Get out of your secular approach to reality. Because let me tell you what. Here is a man ready to be given a mantle. Here is a man connected to the most powerful woman of God, man of God, to win battles. But what does he do? He goes into attitude and idiosyncratic behavior of him displaying his kingship and yet he was receiving a mantle of victory from Elisha. How many of you have attitude because of who you are? How many of you don't follow instructions because you think you are more important than the instructor? I say to you, If the king from the beginning understood that Elisha putting his hand on the king and showing him to open the east window was actually the prophetic transference of the mantle, the prophetic transference of, a, of the mantle to him. But he was in his story. He was in his story. He was in his position as king. Paradventure. Do you not understand nor appreciate the fact that how do you as a man of God or whatever you are get hold of the hand of the king and show him how to shoot an arrow? In those days everybody was a soldier. So what are we talking about here? What are we talking about here? Who is telling you? Are you seeing? What is your connection? Are you seeing beyond your own nose? It saddens me. It saddens me. Because many a times, people don't hear God before they listen to the person talking. 